Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan and what I'd like to do today is to share with y'all my beginner's guide to financial analysis for Costco 2023. So the way the video is going to play out is first and foremost going to go ahead and give y'all a little bit of background about me, who I am, what I do and why I do it. And then after that we'll dive into some highlights as to how I compile and what is included in my beginner's guide to financial analysis for Costco for 2023. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and zip through this whole presentation. As promised, a little bit about me. Again, Paul Borowski, doctoral candidate, also MBA. I have been publishing company financial reports since about 2018. Typically on an annual basis, I'll do between 20 to 30 beginner's guides as well as company reports on various companies, public companies, anywhere between from Ford to Tesla to CVS and other large corporations. If you are interested in purchasing one of my a financial report or beginners guys just go to this link right here i am also an author i've published beginner's guide to understanding financial statements and financial ratios you can find that on amazon and the link is right here and then finally i am an adjunct professor and subject matter expert in finance i've been teaching at the college level for about 10 plus years now so if you are interested in some finance tutoring you're struggling with your finance class need a little bit of assistance i do offer finance tutoring my um, space is limited though if you are interested in some finance tutoring then just contact me at this email right here all right with that said let's go ahead and finish going through this report And enough about me. Let's go ahead and talk about the star of the show, which is my Costco 2023 Beginner's Guide to Financial Analysis. And in the Beginner's Guide, uh, what I include is I include three segments. The first segment is focused on the income statement for Costco for the last five years. The second segment is a summary um, balance sheet for the last five years, and, and I focus in on that segment. And then finally is financial ratios for Costco for 2023 again for the last five years. All right, so like I said, first segment is going to be the Costco's summarized income statement for the last five years. <coughs> Excuse me. I retrieved all this information from Costco's 10K, summarized the information where needed, and the, these are the results. And from the, this information is, is part of the information where I pull, um, I, pull, I compile my financial ratios. And for in this section, so I, I start off the section, the income st um, statement section, with a summarized income statement for the last five years. From there, I then dive into a line by line um, analysis, well, not analysis, but a line by line introduction to each um, the most important segments of the income statement. For example, I'll give you a breakdown of what revenues are. I'll define revenues. I'll give it to you in layman's terms. And then I'll provide you also with some analysis tips as to how you can go ahead and analyze that line item. The second segment is the balance sheet, and I follow the same structure, same strategy, same process for the balance sheet as I did with the income statement. I went ahead and, again, summarized Costco's uh, 10Ks for the last five years. I put it into my financial model, and here are the results, uh, results of the summarized balance sheet. And then I went ahead and next, and I went ahead and um, took a look at each cat, each line item, and I gave you a breakdown of what that line item means. For example, cash. I'll sh I show you what cash means. I'll give it to you in other words, and then I'll give you some analysis tips as how you can go ahead and analyze the cash line item for Costco for the last five years. The third segment is going to be the financial ratios. And for this segment, I break it into four additional segments, which is your liquidity ratios, your asset ratios, your profitability ratios, and then your debt ratios. And within each segment, I'll go ahead and provide you all with the ratios that I compiled in that segment. I'll give you the formulas that I use for each one of the ratios. For example, liquidity ratios. Some of the ratios that I use were, well, actually all the ratios that I, uh, that I included were the current ratio, cash ratio, quick ratio, and net working capital. And then right here, I give you a summary of what each one of those ca um, ratios calculated were for Costco to, um, 2023 to 2019. Further, for each important ratio that I included, I'll give you a breakdown of what that ratio means. 
I'll then go ahead and provide you all the formula for that ratio, and then I'll give you all the ratio in layman's terms, and then I'll also provide you all with some analysis tips that you can use to go ahead and analyze Costco's current ratios for the last five years. All right, so hopefully this information was helpful, so let's go ahead and wrap it up and sum it up. In summary, if you are interested in purchasing my beginner's guide or financial report, all you have to do is go to this link right here. And then if you do buy my beginner's guide or financial report in the purchase, it does include a PDF file. And also just keep in mind though, it does not include the Excel financial model that is proprietary. I do include the calculations in the financial reports, but the actual Excel financial model is not included. And then finally, if you are interested in finance tutoring, I may have space available. Um, it is limited. You, you can find out if I am available and other information by, con by sending me an email. And my email link is right here. All right, so hopefully this video was helpful. As always, uh, go out and have a fantastic day. Thank you.